Hi everyone, this is Jason Dunn here from Laptop Thoughts and this is my review video of the Samsung Series 9 laptop. This is a thin and light notebook that uh, Samsung created essentially to compete head to head with the MacBook Air. Uh, it measures up very well against the Air, even the new one, in a lot of different ways. Um, the particular model I'm looking at is the 900X3A a02CA. So this model was sent to me by Samsung Canada and uh, you can check out my unboxing video to learn more about the specs and whatnot but this review video is all about um, the performance of this particular unit. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm actually going to just um, hit the power button here so you can check out how quick um, it boots. Now um, Samsung's official kind of specifications, you know their PDF file, um, claims that it boots in 12 seconds and resumes in three seconds. That is not exactly as good as what I've seen. Um, I've seen it boot in around 16 seconds, which is still a fantastic boot time. I mean, let, let's let's be let's be clear here. You know, an average laptop, even one that's very finely tuned with a regular hard drive, is going to take you know 35 seconds, 40 seconds to boot in most cases. And this, you know, is booting up in about 16 seconds. Interestingly enough. Um, Samsung has this uh, boot optimization, it's actually some software that they have on here. Um, I measured the boot time through multiple reboots and I got basically an average of 16 seconds. After I ran the boot optimization, uh, my performance dropped by 12.5% because the boot time actually was booting up in um, 18 seconds. So I'm not exactly sure um, why their boot optimization made things worse, but at any rate, you're, you should be looking at around 16 seconds um, to, uh, to boot up. Now, I'm going to close the lid here and we're just going to let it go to sleep. The interesting thing is I couldn't measure how long it takes to go to sleep. Well, my camera's losing focus here. Um, and the reason why is that there's actually no external lights on this thing. And usually when, when you're measuring how long a laptop takes to, to go to sleep, you do that by actually measuring the, um, the lights and seeing when they you know go into sort of blinky blinky sleep mode. But I couldn't actually do that. Now, the resume. This is one of the things that I, I think Samsung can improve upon. Um, Samsung claims three seconds for resume. Um, I did not see that. I see about seven seconds, and that's I'll, I'll, I'll time this after I after I load it up here. But basically, um, resume could be a little bit better compared to the MacBook Air. And again, I apologize to anyone who gets mad when I do comparisons. But you know, I had a MacBook Air for a couple of weeks, and this thing is really designed to compete with the MacBook Air. So I think that's kind of uh, a logical comparison. The Air resumes in like two or three seconds, like literally as soon as you finish opening up the lid, you see your screen. So Samsung and Microsoft very clearly have some work to do here in order to uh, match that level of uh, performance. So um, yeah, now the, one, of the, one of the interesting things is the power button here. This might sound kind of funny, but there have been a couple instances where I've just sort of pressed the power button and then nothing would happen and I have to kind of press it and use a little bit more force. So Samsung didn't use sort of like a typical kind of a, a separate mechanical click button here. As you can maybe kind of see, the whole thing is sort of integrated in, in and you basically have almost like a softer piece of plastic that you have to hit. So that that's a little bit weird. It's definitely not a showstopper issue, but it's something I haven't frankly seen on any other laptop when I press the power button and it hasn't actually done what I expected it uh, to, to do. Um, uh, it starts loading Windows after about six seconds, so there's about six seconds of kind of BIOS um, functionality that happens and then Windows starts. And so that's kind of important to understand that Windows itself is actually booting in roughly 10 seconds, but there's some stuff at the beginning that happens. And again, if there's some way for Samsung to optimize that even further, they'd be even you know, more competitive with the MacBook Air. Um, in terms of stuff that came on this, you know, like kind of junkware and extra software, um, also referred to as crapware sometimes, I had to install, uh, uninstall rather, Norton Security, and there was an Office 2010 trial, but that was really about it. Much to Samsung's credit, they didn't uh, load this up with a bunch of different stuff. Um, one of the things I was a little bit concerned about when I started using this notebook were the fact that these USB ports were in these little flip-down things, uh, these little panels, and I use these big fat, you know, Patriot um, memory sticks, and um, the cool part is that they do actually fit in there nicely, and you can, in fact, lay the laptop down, and uh, the laptop isn't, you know, kind of balancing up or anything on it. So, so that's actually that's actually nice to see. Now, on the flip side, though, one of the interesting things that Samsung did is. Um, this USB port here is the super speed USB port, okay? Samsung left it black, okay? USB 3, most USB 3 ports are have, have a little piece of blue plastic 
inside of them. And so that's so that frankly, when you're looking for, you know, hey, uh, which USB port do I plug in to get the most speed? You plug it into that one. Samsung, I guess, I would assume for design uh, aesthetic reasons, decided to uh, leave it black. I really wish they would have left it blue. I think that's a really good industry standard. And frankly, um, until USB 3 is everywhere, I think it's, it, it's good to have a visual differentiator between the two. Um, the backlit keyboard. Now, initially, I was a little bit mad. I thought, oh man, I wish I could turn the backlit keyboard off. Well, I should have um, done a bit more research because what I didn't realize is that up here, uh, you can actually turn the backlit keyboard up or down. So, they're, so they actually have a, uh, a control for, uh, for, for doing that, which I, I think is great. So I really like the backlit keyboard. I like it even more that I can control um, the brightness on it. So that is really cool. Um, there was one really weird scenario that I think is worth mentioning, but not worth kind of obsessing over. Um, this unit actually locked up on me uh, so bad um, that I could not get it to reboot. I was pressing and holding the power button. I couldn't do anything, and of course, because it has a sealed battery design back here, I couldn't pull the battery uh, to actually get it to reboot. There's a little tiny paper clip hole right here, uh, a little hole rather, and I just stuck a paper clip into it and that actually reboots the entire system. So it only happened once and I'm frankly not too concerned about it. I believe it had something to do with the uh, sleep resume function uh, of Windows 7 because when I hit the paper clip and the machine rebooted, uh, Windows came up and claimed that it had trouble getting the uh, system um, out of uh, out of hibernate. Okay, so not not anything to uh, worry about, but it is worth kind of mentioning that it did uh, happen. And let's see here now. Uh, in terms of um, the battery life, now I made an error when I did my unboxing video. I said that it had. A uh, 40 watt hour battery, and I got a little bit confused. I was reading the spec sheet wrong. It actually has a 6300 uh, milliamp battery, so a little bit over um, 60 watt hours, I believe, is how that how that conversion works. Um, so yeah, so it has a 63 milli 6300 milliamp battery, which is fantastic. That'll give, that'll give you um, some decent battery life. So how did it actually do um, in battery life tests? Well, I used um, a tool that I co-created with a developer friend of mine, and it's called Really Refreshing. Uh, and you can find it at reallyrefreshing.com. And essentially what it does is it browses through a list of about you know 50 um, uh, top websites and um, you set the screen brightness and you basically leave it alone and it simply browses from page to page. It loads one page every 60 seconds and then that particular page uh, loads and moves on to the next one and you basically just let the laptop go until the laptop dies. Well, how did it do? Uh, it, did, it did quite well. Um, let me just zoom in here on the results. Uh, it ran for a little bit over five hours. So this is um, five hours and three minutes. Um, now again, this is with the screen brightness set at 50%. Obviously Wi-Fi is turned on. Um, I turned off the adaptive lighting so that so the adaptive, adaptive brightness rather on the uh, screen so that uh, the screen wouldn't auto automatically change its brightness level and I left the um, uh, backlit keyboard at its at its default brightness. So um, I ran this test in a variety of different browsers. I ran it in you know Chrome. I ran it uh, in IE9, and in most cases, I was seeing really anywhere between kind of four hours and 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 58 minutes to about five hours and 15 minutes. So you're going to get a, about five hours of good solid non-stop browsing um, out of this battery. So how does that compare uh, to other products? Um, other devices on the market that are this thin and light, well, there, there aren't a lot of them, frankly. It compares well to those. Compared to the MacBook Air, uh, it, it's, hard, it's hard to do a comparison. Um, on Windows, it actually compares, compares very well. On OS X, Apple has done some really aggressive stuff with power management and with the MacBook Air that actually has a slightly smaller battery. It has about a 50 watt hour battery. I was seeing around seven hours of browsing, so significantly better. So I think that um, Samsung has done, I would say, about the best that they can do, but um, Microsoft needs to make Windows more power friendly and uh, Samsung you know, obviously has more work to do in terms of optimizing battery performance. But five hours is, in my opinion, um, quite good. Now, 